Hey there, I'm Scott and welcome back to my home and kitchen. Guys, I've been working through this list of emails I have from all of you asking for different recipes. Sat down this morning and came up with one that I've got several requests for. And that is a version of chicken pot pie that I'm going to be making for you guys um, in another video. But I wanted to show you how I'm going to make the biscuit topping for our chicken pot pie. It's really, really simple, and these are going to be Parmesan biscuits, so extra delicious. The recipe is going to be on my blog. It's scotthargrove.blogspot.com. Uh, go to the blog, check out the video there, and you can uh, copy and paste the recipe right off of that page. All right, to get the biscuits together, it's really simple. We have two cups of flour here. To that, I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of uh, either sea salt or kosher salt, just my preference. I want to add two teaspoons of baking powder. That's going to give it a nice lift when we uh, mix in the liquid and stick it into the oven. So we're going to get all that mixed together. Here I have one stick, half a cup of um, unsalted butter cut into cubes. This has been in the freezer for about five minutes or in the refrigerator you know, for about an hour until it's really, really cold. So we're going to drop that in. Now I want to show you how we're going to cut this butter into the flour. To cut in the butter is really simple. You just take the flour, kind of mound it up over the butter pieces, and then with your fingers you're just going to squish the butter, and what you're looking for is just flat pieces about the size of a dime or a little bit smaller. You just don't want to break the butter up too much. So um, let me give you a, kind of an idea of what we're looking for. Pieces that look just about like that. That's going to add a nice flaky texture to the biscuits. So work through all this butter, then we'll proceed with the recipe. We got all the butter cut in. It's looking really good. Now to make this taste really good, I'm going to add about half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Um, buy the best Parmesan cheese that you can find. Uh, once you stick it in there, just coat it all with the flour. That's going to get it all well distributed. Okay. Now we have three quarters of a cup of whole milk. You could use buttermilk. This is just whole milk today. It's going to go in. Then with a spatula or a spoon, just start turning this around in the bowl until the dough comes together. Stirring it around and lifting up from the bottom. So on a clean work surface, take some extra flour, just scatter it out, then take your dough, just turn that right out onto the flour, set your bowl to the side. Now we just want to pull this together into one cohesive shape. You don't want to start kneading this like you would a bread dough. If it's a little sticky, add a little flour to the top. And we want this about, I'd say, a half an inch thick when all is said and done. So I'm not using a rolling pin, I'm not uh, you know, working it around too much, just kind of mashing it all together. Now it's simple, just take a biscuit cutter. One thing I see folks do that's not proper is actually pushing the biscuit cutter in and then turning it. That'll twist the strands around the side of the biscuit and prevent it from rising. So just make sure when you push your biscuit cutter in, it's just a down motion, and then lift it straight up. And there you go. For the uh, Chicken pot pie, I'm just setting these on a, on a sheet pan to reserve until we're ready to top our, our chicken pot pie. If you wanted to, you could absolutely put these into a 350 degree oven. Cook them 12 to 15 minutes or so until they're nice and golden brown. And they would be delicious just as a, you know, a side to a delicious meal. But for today, these are going to be the topping for our pot pie, so I'm just going to continue cutting these out. So there you have it, Parmesan biscuits, they're that easy to make. Like I said, if you want to bake these off 375, 350, 12 to 15 minutes, you're really just looking for them to rise a little bit and get nice and golden brown on top. These biscuits are meant for another uh, purpose. They're going to be the topping for a delicious chicken pot pie. So I suggest you check that video out if you get a chance. The blog again is www.scotthargrove.blogspot.com. Uh, check it out. There's lots of good uh, video demonstrations there. I'd love to hear from you too. My email address is chefscotthargrove at gmail.com. 
Guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.